Confessions of a Tiny YouTuber. I'm addicted. This reflection offers a different perspective on my journey. My first year as a YouTuber has been an enlightening adventure, even though a significant part of it was spent recovering from thyroid cancer surgery, during which I couldn't post updates. Fortunately, I consider myself lucky to have dealt with the mildest form of cancer. I'm currently in good health and faithfully taking my medication as prescribed. As I mark my first year as a YouTuber, I've begun to recognize the depth of my addiction to creating videos and connecting with my audience. When I started this channel, I never imagined how profoundly engaging the experience would become. I simply wanted to share my thoughts and opinions with the world. However, YouTube has evolved into an integral part of my daily life. I'm committed to brainstorming video ideas, filming, editing, optimizing metadata, and responding to comments, and I cherish every moment of it. In retrospect, my YouTube journey seems to follow the classic framework of addiction. Triggers leading to actions that provide variable rewards, resulting in deeper engagement. The more I delve into the psychological forces at play, the more I comprehend why I feel an intense compulsion to continue. My addiction likely began with specific emotional triggers. As a naturally reserved person in real life, I've always yearned for a platform to express myself more fully, even if it involves my animated alter ego. I also hoped that putting myself out there online might foster personal growth. This desire for self-expression and self-improvement acted as the internal trigger to start a channel. The act of filming that initial video set the addiction cycle in motion. Witnessing a video I had created appearing online was exhilarating. The editing process proved to be unexpectedly enjoyable and meditative. I quickly became obsessed with enhancing the quality of each new video, even though I recognized that video editing can be a time-consuming bottleneck. Variable rewards kept me coming back for more. Reading heartwarming comments from viewers was gratifying. Watching my subscriber count gradually rise provided a rush of dopamine. Both the positive feedback and the sense of progress were highly motivating and unpredictable. Over time, each of these short-term rewards compelled me to invest more deeply in my channel. I upgraded my computer and lighting equipment, committed to a regular video release schedule, and spent more time networking with fellow content creators. These investments of time, money, and effort deepened my appreciation for the platform. Now my channel has truly become a part of my identity. The thought of stopping seems unimaginable, akin to losing a part of myself. How did an idle hobby become such an indispensable part of my life? I sought answers from a scientific perspective to maintain this momentum. The dopamine reward system seems to provide a fitting explanation. Comments and likes are delivered unpredictably, keeping me eagerly anticipating the next notification. Views and subscribers arrive at random intervals, acting as if they are slot machine payouts for my brain. According to experts, variable reward schedules like this are far more addictive than consistent ones. It's precisely the uncertainty that intensifies cravings and drives compulsive behavior. Investments also raise the stakes. Now that I've devoted so much time and effort to YouTube, it feels mandatory to continue. Quitting would negate all the work I've put in to build this channel. I'd experience painful cognitive dissonance if I stopped now. Of course, I could have resisted these addictive hooks early on if I had been more aware of them. The techniques worked precisely because I didn't notice them subtly reshaping my behavior. The alarming truth is that we're surrounded by addictive experiences like this. Technology companies and game designers employ psychologists to optimize compulsive engagement. Apps and platforms use the same tactics to enhance user involvement. But ultimately, addiction comes down to the individual. We each choose which activities to devote more and more time to. And if that choice fulfills us and improves our lives, perhaps addiction isn't always negative. Embarking on my YouTube journey unlocked fresh avenues for personal growth and potential financial revenues that I might never have discovered otherwise. Connecting with viewers and becoming part of a thriving community gives me energy and purpose. As long as I maintain balance, this is an addiction I'm content to nurture. The key for me is ensuring YouTube remains one aspect of a diverse life rather than taking over completely. Scheduling time for non-video activities and hobbies is crucial. 
It can be challenging, as I often enter a flow state as soon as I sit down in front of the computer and time seems to fly by. Looking ahead, I'll likely remain hooked on YouTube, but greater self-awareness has given me more conscious control over my engagement. I now have a better understanding of the neuroscientific forces that keep me addicted. Knowing what motivates my behavior is the first step toward directing it to serve me rather than controlling me. So before you begin manipulating others or your own behavior, you can start by trying to manipulate my behavior, just like in Subscribe to Reward My Brain System. These forms of recognition motivate me to become more addicted to creating videos. In the pursuit of better work, I will invest more time and effort into producing higher quality videos, offering valuable insights. The addictive nature of the platform makes the experience incredibly compelling, but also demands careful moderation. In the end, we each decide which habits and behaviors to commit ourselves to. As long as this passion continues to bring me fulfillment, I eagerly look forward to many more years of creating content. As I move forward on my YouTube journey, I'm excited to explore new horizons and delve into fresh topics. Your feedback, support, and ideas are invaluable in shaping the content I create. It's a journey we embark on together where creativity and community converge, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you for being part of my journey, and I look forward to the exciting chapters yet to come. Until next time, stay inspired and keep those creative sparks burning bright. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next video.